Welcome to my second video log for 2015. I hope you enjoyed our little trip down memory lane last week where we had a look at the paintings that were created by Merca Mora for the Year 7 building. This week I'd like to talk to you about one of my favourite events of the year, our very special community assembly where we acknowledge the students of the class of 2014 and we induct our captaincy team for 2015. What I'd like to do now is show you some photos of the event itself. I hope you enjoy them. So on Thursday the 12th of February, we gathered as a school community on the banks of Brushy Creek, our spiritual home as a school. Students from prep to year 12 nestled under the shade of the trees and eagerly awaited the assembly that day. We were very fortunate to have a special guest at our assembly, Mr Philip Field, Chairman of the College Board. Mr Field congratulated all students from the class of 2014 for their hard work and diligence and wished the students who were inducted as leaders for 2015 all the very best for their journey. The 2015 Student Leadership Group were asked to take the oath of office, which says, I promise to serve the Billinock College community by giving of my best in attitude and actions. I also promise to work with my fellow students to build a caring, learning community. The first group of students to be inducted were the primary school captaincy team for 2015, with Mr Thomas joining me on stage to help with the process. The next group of students to be inducted were the middle school captaincy team with Mr Nick Owen helping me with that task. As you can see here, the middle school captains were presented to the school. The final group of students to be inducted were our senior captains for 2015. And as you can note, one of the special tasks that these students perform is to sign the historical record of captains at Billinock College. At the conclusion of the induction process, we were blessed to be able to hear from Talaska Despitalis from Year 12, who sang to the school community. The final part of the assembly was where the school community recognised the achievements of the students of the class of 2014. As part of this process as well, our Ducks of the College is recognised by the school community as well. The Ducks of the College this year was Dylan Kinnear, who scored an ATAR of 99.3, which is a fabulous result. In an equally exceptional result, almost half of the cohort of students from the class of 2014 returned to the school last Thursday to be recognised by our community as students who'd done exceptionally well and scored an ATAR of above 80. As part of recognising the achievement of the students of the class of 2014, we also took the opportunity to note the amazing achievement of three students in the school who achieved perfect study scores of 50 out of 50. Congratulations go to Jesse Tudor, who received perfect study scores in History Revolutions and Literature, to Miranda Picknell, who received a perfect score in Philosophy, and also to Emily Grundy, who was an accelerated Year 11 student, currently in Year 12 this year, who received a perfect score of 50 in Psychology. I hope you've enjoyed my second video log for the year. Um, congratulations to our captaincy team for 2015 and all the best to our students from the class of 2014 as they embark on the next stage of their learning journey.